Hello dear friend, welcome to online lecture series. This is Dr. Ramna Tandre, Assistant Professor in KRT Art, BH Commerce and AM Science, well known Catechism College Nasak. Today it deals with the FIBSC class, semester second, zoology paper first, title is Animal Diversity Part 2. In that, we already initiate the chapter number 5, the phylum Echinodermata. Today, we are going to discuss about the class picture of phylum Echinodermata part 1. Before this, I just suggest you, you know, some really quick read. One of the books is available on our Catechism Library, which is Inverted Words. And this book is written by Dr. Ariel Gorpa and its colleague. In this book, you can specifically go through the lesson number 7. And I also suggest you the another textbook. This is Animal Diversity Part 2. This book is written by Dr. V.R. Kakulte and we hate group and published by Vision Publication. In this book, you can specifically go through the lesson number 5. You get it the good information related to classification of phylum Echinodermata. Okay, now we just a quick review of previous session and then we start the today's lecture. In last lecture, we discussed about the introduction of phylum Echinodermata. As you know, the Echinodermata is a meaning. The word is come from the Greek, and Echinus means spiny and dharma means skin and this terminology is first time used by the Jacob Klin in 1734 and basically you know that this gender character in that phylum about till today there is 7000 species are reported and this habit and habitat is vary as compared to the habit and habitat the size and where the body of these forms is very as compared to the habitat and habitat. Similarly, we also discuss about the silent feature of phylum Echinodermata. They are exclusive marine, the body is flattened, oral and apodal surface is there, pentamerous symmetry, some are the bilateral symmetry, all the character things we discussed in the last lecture. And we also discuss about the they are this phylum or the some peculiar character. Which are the peculiar character? First one is that in that phylum there is present of the this is only one group of the invertebrate that consists of the exo and endoskeleton. Then in that animal there is present of the one of the specialized systems. This is known as a vertebrate system and this organism they are very important feature as the skin is done spiny skin organism and this whole group we had little discussion we can carried out in the previous lecture now we today we discuss about the class of phylum echinodermata in that we specifically discuss about the phylum elithrozo then we discuss or go through the classes belong to the elithrozo there is class Astrodia, then class Ophiuridia, and the class Echinodia. These three classes, with its example, we discuss in the today's session. In this session, we can learn. You can this, you can understand the how which are the sub phylum of Echinodermata and how many class belong to the, this specific sub phylum of Echinodermata. As well as you also the understand how to classify the Echinodermal animals in the various groups or the subphylum and the class. Classification of Echinodermata. You know that the phylum Echinodermata is well known group as a starfish, then beetle star, sea urchin, then thyans, sand dollar, sea cucumber, sea lily. These are the no number of example you know and therefore this various number of organism is found in this phylum Echinodermata 
therefore we want to the this all various form of organism want to classify it into the specific groups and therefore on the basis what basis we classify the firstly we think about the this organism is a free living or attached to the any substratum that part we discuss in the classification then we also discuss about there is the presence of the movable arm or absent the arm is movable arm is found in the organism or absent the movable arms then we also discuss about the how is the skeleton element arranged on the body as like to the character of taste and arrangement of skeleton this part we think about the glass fiction and we also the discuss or think about the water vascular system how the character features of that as you know there is 7000 species is found in the phylum echinodermata therefore we this all the animals is firstly divided into the two sub phyla and this whole classification is adapted by the one of the man this is the man is the hey man in 1955 he first and said and only the living classes in order are discussed in the today's itself now specifically the echinodermata this all the 700 species of the echinoderms is divided into the two parts the one is the erythrosa when we put in the group of erythrosa those echinoderm animals are free living. The word is indicate that elithro. The elithro that means the meaning of that this is free. Uh, erythro is a, another name. The this name of this word is elithro as a free. Free and the zoa means animals. That means free living animals are found. They are all the echinoderms are free living. They put in the sub phylum as the elithrosa. And those animals are this elithrosa is again divided into the four sub four classes. First one is the Astoria, there is stars everybody, then Ophiolodia, then Echinodia, and the these four classes is belong to the subphylum elithrosa. Then these all the elithrosomes are the free living. The other group is the palmatozoa. The pal palmatozoa is the basically the palmato is the meaning of that. This is a stock. Palmatos means stock and zoa means animal. Those echinoderms animal that are attached to the any substratum that time we commonly called it that this is a palmatozoan echinoderms animal and this most of the group of palmatozoans are extinct form but they usually we directly the the abdominal or the oral surface that is attached attached to the air supported to stock calcareous ossicles and this directly upward direction we can think the palmatal cell we can decide as a, there is only one class and this class is a, known as a parent. Okay, this is the actual classification of the this group are just the echinodermata is divided into two sub -pala. This first one is the elithroza, second is palmatoza, then elithroza it's uh, divided into the four classes Astrodia, Opiodia, and Echinodia, and, and Holothrodia. Similarly, Palmetoza is found the one class, this is a Cryonodia. The, the okay, we have over, overview of the Echinoderms animal we discuss in the whole flow chart. Then we discuss about one by one. The first stage is the phylum, second stage is sub phylum, and the third stage is the just phylum. This is the echinoderms, then sub phylum, elithrosa, and palmetozoa, and the class Astrodia, Ophiolodia, Echinodia, Holothrodia, and Cryonida. These are the three five classes which belong to the class Echinoderma. Then we go to the one by one. As I, as I said, the, these two sub -pilots. first we discuss about the each example as like Astervia, we look the example as a star, C star, 
then Ophiolidae example is the beta star, the Echinodae is example is sea urchin or Echinus, then Holothuridae example is the sea cucumber or thions, and the Cryonida is example is the beta star. This all the example of each class. Then the we discuss about the phylum Elithrozoa. The Elithrozoans are the marine. They are mostly the exclusively marine animals. And the word of this Elithrozoa, the Elithro means free, and Zoa means animal. And therefore, two words is together. Those free living animals is known as Elithrozoans. Then this. Animals are mobile and mouth is directed to substrate and ultimately this the, the mouth is directed to the substrate part as well as they are the opposite side of the mouth they consist of the metriporite two pits and the movable spine saw to they are useful for the locomotion and it also the consists of the inside the ring canal inside the page and there is present of the tightment body in the ring canals. This is a simple character features as like we discussed about the elithrozoans and those are the one free living unstock free living or unstock organism and the few locomotor organ and the mainly the main nervous system is around the oral oral area or mouth region only the nervous system is located in the mouth area and this is a important feature as a subphalum astrodea same thing the astrodea is sorry the elithrozoa is divided into the three classes the first one is astrodea of and the Echinus, this we discuss in today and remaining class we discuss in the next lecture. Firstly, the Astrodea, the main, what is the meaning or the word of the word is indicate that the two word is combined, Astus plus Odia. The Astus means the star and Odia means forms. Those animals look like the star shape structure that Echinoderms animal put in the class of Astrodea with free living. This specialized character has been commonly called as a sea star or star fishes. These animals consist of the five or more arms. They are sharply marked and they are centrally they are located at the central disc. Central disc is where the five or more arms around the edges. Then it in this animal they these are the two feet in the oral place and ambulacral group which consists of the circus is found in this organism as well as the aboral side comes found the anus and the metaporite this opening is found in the aboral side in this organism the pedicillary is absent in the asteroidia there is specifically different type of pedicillary, velvet type of the globi or globulous pedicillary is absent in this organism. Then the free living, slow, creeping or they mostly the predaceous and scavenger in nature. Those organisms, they are specialized character of ast astrodia class. For example, is the sea star or asterias or ludia. These are the two examples we found or belong to the known about the asteroid class. Then we take the example as a starfish. You will look like the picture. This is a starfish structure. This is a sea star exclusively is animal are found in marine. The locomotive is crawling slowly in the shallow water. As well as the sea star, sea star is found in the crowding mechanism in the as a, the edges of the coastal area, we can see the shallow water part and its marine environment. This starfish is found. Is the body that organism body we look at it, the pictures? This organism is seen like the pattern and it consists of the oral and aboral axis with the radial or pentamerous symmetry. 
Sea star is usually they are found in the various color as like yellow or orange color we can observe in the sea star. We look at the picture. The one the first picture is a oral surface and the lower picture is the oral surface. We see the oral surface with oral blue and in that there is a present of the metriporites and dinosaur. Same thing, the, this body is very tough, hard, then covered with the spiny and leathery integument with several internal skeleton as a ossicles. Again, there is present of the central disc. This is the central disc part and the central disc area they be as the five arms. One, two, three, four and five. There is five arms is be as hard. And therefore, this generated the radial symmetry. This animal is mostly found in the around the area, the sea area. The about depth is a 1,800 1, meter depth area. This, how much shallow water? There is 1,800 meter area. There is sea water is there found, and this reported from the United Kingdom then United States of America, then India, then Panama and South America. These are the some country their starfish is distributed, distribution is this. We can look at the picture, very simple manner. We see that this is the aboral surface of the starfish and this is the central disc part. Then these are the arms and these three arms is located on one side is tile and the two arms look at the ones at this bio. Then we also see the super marginal spine. We look like this, this is super marginal spine and the imporeal marginal spine. There is some spine they the perpendicular to each other, the one is surface part and one is a horizontal to surface part. And this is a this imporeal marginal spine and the superior marginal spine. These two type of spines we observe in the starfish. This we look at the aboral surface as well as the oral surface. Same thing, the second class, this is the Ophiurodia. This Ophiurodia, we can look like the picture, uh, Ophiurodia, the meaning of office means serpent and Oria means tail. Oria means forms. That, that means those animals there is present of the serpent, tail, with the forms that is known as uh, this opioid and we take the example as a beetle star the, the body of beetle star is again pentamerous and the serial symmetry with b as the central disc it also consists of the similar like to the oral and the oral surface mouth and the anus they are opposite to directed the arms usually they are most of the five, most of time there is five arms but rarely some beetle star they consist of the six to seven arms they are this animal is look like this, the long slender and smooth with spiny march edges or the spiny skin in that animal basically the starfish is present of the ambulacular group but in this animal, there is ambulacral group is absent. You can look at the picture. There is central disc. Then it be as the five arms thick. There is absent of the ambulacral group, and the vessels you can observe in the body. Then the anus and intestine is absent in the body. Then metriporite is present in the oral surface as compared to the uh, Asteroidian starfish metropolitan is present in the abnormal surface. Sexes are separated, the gonads are pentamerous, and the development includes the development is external with pre swimming platula, platula larva. For example, there is opithrix or opilipus. You can look at the picture, same is the beetle star. Ophelipus as an example, 
this ophelepis is commonly called as a spiny star bitter star again the same character picture the smaller central disc five long elongated arms with spiny fringes you can observe the oral and aboral surface is distinct they are oral surface is leathery with an anus and pedicella is absent in that a central and pentagonal mouth with internal mandibles it consists of the 10 elongated slit that means there is genital bursi and uh, it also found the gonad ductus appear the outer surface of the this animal there is skeletal plates three row of pointed spine and uh, single row of two pits with ossical arms is articulating each other and we can look in the picture the small central disc oral and aboral surface of the body the metaphorites and all things we present in here with consists of the skeletal plate three rows of pointed spine and the single row of two pits is observed in the organism next third class in this organism this is the echinodea the word of echinodea echinodea is two words to guide that there is echinos means hedgehog and odea means forms hedgehog forms the body is look like the echinodea body is just like the globular disc like hemispheric hemispherical and they in that class there is absence of the arms and the, they are free rays also free rays or arms is absent or uh, skeletons are calcareous plate forming the rigid box like to test and tearing movable spine Embryonic roots are covered, and they have the two feet with suckers. You can look at the picture. This is a echinus, as an example. Then, in this uh, organism, there is three jaw pedicellary. There is endoskeleton is in the form of cutinous test. It's made up with the calcareous plate. Mouth is located at central, and surrounding there is present of the peristomium membranous peristomium example as a canus or it is also commonly called as a ch or ek echinocardius then the echinus are also commonly called as ch the same thing we learn about this echinus is found as a globular body hemicircular with without arms or pterygids it found thus rocky places skeleton with on the calculus plate with rigid box like test or the movable spine in that organism there is ambulacular bone is covered and they have the two feet with suckers the surface area of the these cells is divided into the alternating ambulacral and the inter ambulacral area the numerous two pits is projecting the on the surface of the spine we can look it there is two pits then inter alternating area we can observe that there is ambulacral group and ambulacral interambulacral area this is the character features of the echinus okay now we come up with to the reflection point as how many class in the phylum echinoidea you can just go through this lecture you get and stop these questions then is it echinus belong to the phylum echinoidea again you can go through lecture you get it answer then now the point time for you there is small assignment on this lecture first question is that there is describe the class which of phylum echinoidea and write a note on the class of echinoidea write it detail the both question answer on the plain paper and submit on google classroom as well as the also mail me the ramnathundare at the rate ktchcollege.sc.in okay now we take the few very quick summary part of today's session in today's session we discuss about the classification of the 
example is starfish popularly yeah. that this example is a bitter star and body is just the small thin and star like body but there's some opposite character feature of asteroidia then third class we discuss in today itself this is econodia and example is sea urchin or echinus this three class with its example we discuss in the today session as a little so as a sub then in next lecture we discuss about the classification of economic part 2 in that we discuss about the some example of this classes we discuss in the that lecture in that the first class we discuss the remaining in the found remaining class belong to the elithoza this is known as holothuridia then we also discuss about phylum palmetozoa and it belong to the palmetozoa there is one class this is a crinodia with example of climate this all things we discuss in the next session thank you we meet in the next lecture